Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a birthday request video. Today we'll be celebrating Chad Anderson's birthday. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And also, thank you very much for suggesting me to review something on your birthday. Now, if you'd like to suggest something for me to review on your birthday, the information on how to do so will be in the description below if you'd like to do that. Basically, just comment on one of my videos or message me on Google Plus your birthday and would you like me a review and I'll get that out to you on whatever day it is it's your birthday so I'll get that review out to you so again thank you for the suggestion and I hope you're having a great day so let's get into your review now this may be a car that you guys aren't too familiar with because it's only appeared on China so far from overseas sellers and you may see this on eBay currently but I highly recommend not to buy it because they're most likely fake I can I have some pictures that are fake, they're on my Google Plus community page, but basically the ones you'll see now have kind of like a line, you can see how Lion McQueen's eyebrow goes up like that, and you can see on the ones out there now, you can see that line on there, you can just see that they painted over it, there's also the window looks different, but uh, I actually got one before they started making the custom ones that are fake, so I do most likely have a genuine Dynaco Dream McQueen or Transforming Lane McQueen or Rusty's the Dynaco McQueen, whatever you like to call it. But this basically appeared in McQueen's first stream in the beginning of the movie when he's talking to the king and imagines himself winning the Dynaco sponsorship. And it kind of shows this uh, version of McQueen that turns like this and then the Dynaco just kind of rushes over him and it looks just like this. And this is actually a very creative McQueen, although they are really pushing the releases of McQueen. but. I really do think this McQueen is pretty cool. I mean, it's a really cool half McQueen, uh, you know, Dynaco and half Rusty. So you can see his expression and it looks just like the movie did. Kind of really um, determined and concentrated there. And then here's the original Dynaco McQueen now. Uh, they did basically make it the same, but mine's so old, so they probably did some updates in the new version of Dynaco McQueen that was released this year. So you can kind of see some differences, but it's basically the same. And you can see, this is where it splits off Dynaco and Rusty's and where the uh, kind of line, they kind of stop the line, they hit, like pause the movie and then they decide to make it from there. So it looks really cool in my opinion. You can see that nice blend there, it looks really nice. You can take this McQueen too and you could take a look at the back here. Looks very cool, they have the same wheels or the wheels that are appropriate for each side. And it just looks really good, you can even see Lion McQueen's signature right there. And it just looks like a really cool car. The only problem I have with this version of McQueen is on the back here, it does not have the rust ease uh, detail there, which should be right there. See, this version of McQueen has that Rusty's uh, logo right there. Now, this may just be an error on mine personally, or because I actually did see from other people that theirs came without the logo as well. So I hope it's not an error though, because I don't want to have to buy another one of these. But I mean, I'm not a big fan of that, but hopefully maybe they'll fix it. But it does look like a very nice car and people are kind of theorizing what this will be released as. Um, some people are thinking that this will be the Target exclusive, like last year's Target exclusive, which was the metallic Radiator Springs McQueen in the acrylic box. So some people are thinking that this will be the 2015 one. Other people are thinking it'll be a early 2016 release, which I doubt, I don't think it's going to be that. I personally think that it is going to be a Target exclusive, maybe in a box set, or an acrylic case, but I'm not really entirely sure because we haven't really heard too much else. So it'll be interesting to see how this one is released. So thank you guys for watching this video and thank you Chad Anderson for the suggestion. I hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be and I hope you're having a great birthday. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for another video. Bye now.